The ships are returning to port as the deep sea search for Malaysian Airlines flight MH370 officially wraps up. But as backlash comes from families still demanding answers, the Australian government says it's not ruling out resuming the underwater search in the future. The commitment to the 120,000 square kilometre search area uh, has, has been completed. There's other uh, work going on on land in relation to uh, more detailed analysis of, of uh, drift patterns uh, and if further if more debris uh, comes to light in the, in the in the weeks and months ahead it'll be again it'll be a question of working with Malaysia uh, working with our experts on any further analysis. It comes less than a month after officials announced they wanted to widen the search area. Investigators admitting there was a high chance the plane's remains weren't within the 46,000 square mile patch of the southern Indian Ocean where they'd been looking. But Australia dismissed the suggestion, saying that without new credible information, expanding the search would be futile. 239 people went down with the plane when it vanished en route from Beijing to Kuala Lumpur in March 2014, most of them from China. Families now coming to terms with the painful reality that they may never find out what happened to their loved ones. I feel disappointed, helpless and furious. This isn't the result of effort. The search teams have done their best. It's a situation purely caused by a shortage of funds. Whether or not there is still hope, we will go on. MH370 is the most important thing in my life. Nearly three years later, there's been barely a trace of the missing aircraft and no sign of anyone on board.